didn't win the Bobcat. But it is what it is. Yeah. Would you say, Kisha, it's not over yet? He has five minutes to pick up. So if it, if he doesn't pick it up, they're gonna draw yeah, in different. They're gonna draw in different. No There's shit. Less than two minutes now. Oh, that's so they'll keep drawn until they get a win. Oh man, on. that's awesome. Thank God he didn't show up. It's either too hot or too cold in here. <laughs> Yesterday I wore a short sleeve and I was cold. Dude, do you know how do you know how pissed I'd be? If I won that mower and I wasn't here to hear it, yeah. and we and they're like, okay, well, your name was picked, but we gotta else. give it away to somebody else because you weren't here. At the I would ball my eyes out. Yeah, I would cry. <laughs> That'd be so depressing. It, it would exactly. Yeah. He probably figured he wasn't gonna win it and just was like, ah, whatever. Yeah. Either that or he's got a shit ton of money and doesn't care about a damn thing. <laughs> He's like, I didn't want to win that. I wanted to win the yeah, badass one. Only $15,000 mower. I don't want that. <laughs> it is a pretty nice mower. Bob Cat made. Dad, we are about to have another chance at winning this Bob Cat mower. How do you feel about that? I knew I was going to win it anyway from the very beginning. From the what? I had no doubt that I was going to win it anyway. Yep. Well, I told you I was going to win it. Let's see. Holy smokes, 20 seconds to go. Listen to all the cheering that the supportive community... Oh, those are booze. Look at that guy. That guy's clapping, though. That one guy with the yeah. shirt over his shoulder was clapping. What are you doing? Recording. You, sir. Yeah. I didn't boo, but I didn't cheer either. Some footage. Uh, I was indifferent about it. Footage. Should have been, should have been Acme that won that mower. Everybody knows it. These Steiners look exactly like the Vin tracks. But then, then I heard a story about how the Steiner brothers sold Steiner and made Ventrac. Even though he's got a company that does it. Yeah. yeah. Man, I really like these. Uh, did you Did you get on camera the 34 inch? Right oh here. no, it's we're right gonna. Here. Let's go get it real oh quick. my goodness, this is this is my must have, absolutely must have mower. Yeah, but this is going to be my baby, not yours. Yeah, you only say that because I'm the one who pointed it out to you. <laughs> but still. Yeah. But still, Here. I saw it Here. first. Here, Here. Let me get you on video. He's coming 48 He's also coming Kawasaki FT Heck yeah, baby. It looks sexier with you on it, too. <laughs> And then the last thing we've got, obviously, stay right there. We've got the Surfing Pro. This one does have semi-pneumatic tires. Blurring this guy out. Let's retire the front. Comes with the Kawasaki 541. This is badass. Yeah. Yeah. This is way better. This is a game changer. So, a couple years ago, we shifted the market. GT really likes this mower uh, because it's small. It's got a 34-inch deck on it. And he's thinking that he can get this in to some pretty tight spaces of some properties that he maintains on a regular basis. So right now, he's having to use the push mower for it. It's only one property right now, but potentially this could, this mower could open up more properties to us uh, that we're not taking only because we'd have to push mow them. Uh, this thing will easily fit through the gates that we're thinking of. And it would open up a new venue of service for us, a new avenue of income. Uh, we just have to figure out whether it's worth the $4,500 price tag or not. We got a couple other things that we're thinking about too. Uh, this one can still do the Vanguard. Yep, this one can still do the Vanguard. Incidentally, uh, this 34 inch mower has the same motor that our uh, Vantage. That our Xmark Vantage has, only that it's much smaller and probably half the weight. So it'll be interesting. These guys are looking for the outdoor area and they're lost. Like, Those hats. Um, I don't know. There's so much stuff to see here, you guys. You just stumble upon things. I don't like this mower at all. That fucking hurt. Like you snap. don't like this one? No. Look, Why? I just pushed this down right here. Look. What is that for? That's for this the, is the parking brake. But look, okay, that's this, what I thought. It, there's not enough room for your fucking hands. So look, so it pinches look, your fingers. It pinches your fingers. It 
literally just pinched the fuck out of my fingernail and I hate that. I hate that. Okay, well, never, we're gonna give this one, one this one is gonna get a... Thumbs down. Yeah, by thumbs far. down by far. Okay, like so then this will be one of our Encore. favorites. Encore, we're ashamed of you. <laughs> Where are your engineers? <laughs> Do none of your engineers mow grass? Do none of them even sit on a mower? Because that's the first thing that you do with the park and break. That seems like such an obvious engineering error that automatically I wouldn't trust the rest of the engineering on that mower only because of that. Because that is an obvious, obvious thing that should have caught. That's terrible. That'll be I think the main, the, I think my favorite mower here though is probably the Hustler. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys probably could have guessed that. So this stuff is for for spraying, right? Huh? That stuff's for spraying? Yeah. Rather than, because I remember I, uh, so earlier I was asking JT if it was a sprayer and it was a power washer. <laughs> I felt stupid. The outdoor area is up front, babe. No. Isn't no. it? It's out back. Why don't we ask? Yeah, it, it is out back. So while these guys are trying to figure out where to go, let's talk a little bit more about that about that Encore mower with the terrible engineering. This is another reason why I love GIE. Uh, I love it because you can sit down on these mowers and you can put your hands on them uh, and you can kind of get the feel for them. Here, uh, they're going to the outdoor uh, demo area where you can test all these uh, pieces of equipment that you're well not all of them but most of the most of the new ones like i can pretty much guarantee you that that hustler uh, 34 inch will be out there for jt to test drive okay, I promise to uh, the new dixie chopper will be out there uh, and here we are in the outdoor demo area. jt is on the 48 inch i believe this is this is i believe it's 48 no 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 it's 42 it's a 42 so this is the step up from the uh, 36 that he wants to try out but you kind of have to wait your turn it's kind of like uh, you know going to uh, disney world or something where the, all the kids get a ride on the rides only the kids are fat grown men like myself uh and skinny young men like jt and a couple of a couple of girls so uh that that's that's how it worked out okay my apologies uh getting off uh topic again uh, i didn't mean to offend anybody uh you're not fat i wouldn't say you're kind of husky on the huskier side guy in the white shirt also husky guy in the red shirt you're in great shape man you look you look like you work out a little bit anyway here's jt on the 42 inch he eventually did get to ride the 32 inch uh, and I asked him how he liked it and what he liked about it and what he didn't like about it. Because we always do that. You have to come up with things that you don't like about something. Even if they're just the minor, minorest things. The most minute things, uh, if you will. So uh, what I asked him is, what did he like about the mower? He said, well, uh, it was much more nimble than our uh, Xmark Vantage. It's got the same motor, uh, but it's half the weight. And that means... That means it's more nimble. It's going to be more responsive just based on the weight alone. Uh, my concern with the less weight is that our Vantage is a great mower, and it's a tank. Uh, it's built like a tank, and it's going to hold up, and it has been holding up wonderfully. I'm just hoping uh, that a mower that weighs half as much uh, will hold up as well. Maybe time will tell. It depends. Uh, we're going to see how this works out. Uh, we know that there's a couple other smaller deck mowers on the market, and we're going to test those out. But JT's really kind of smitten on this one. Uh, he really liked it. What he didn't like about it was, like I said, it's a lighter build. Uh, some of the sheet metal areas, pretty thin, pretty thin material. He's fucking awesome. He's effing awesome. You probably uh, think that he's talking about me. But he's not. He's talking to me. He's on his way out. We're leaving the GIE. We're going to have more footage for you real soon. He was actually talking about Stanley the Dirt Monkey guy on YouTube. He said the guy was a super nice guy. Really happy to meet him. You meet so many great people at GIE. Until next time, guys.